Hey, Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's me, Brandy. We are going to pull a uh, shadow casting bone and curio card for you. I just got these. All I know is whew, someone needs to breathe, Gemini. <laughs> like, I don't know who all this negative energy is, what this passive aggressive nonsense is, these rumors. <sighs> That's what I want to say right there. Whoever the hell this is for, breathe. Because if not, someone is going to keep repeating these patterns for like ever. Whatever is going on in your life, it feels like high blood pressure. Passive aggressive energy, rumors galore, people trying to trigger you. I mean, I didn't even have to do much to start getting all that. This was ridiculous. Huh? The devil head. Let's see what this thing's about. My God. <laughs> My God. The punchline is what it was. Mischief and mayhem. The punchline. Uh, critical thought is required to ensure your actions are thought-provoking and not controlling. You are a rebel who likes a practical joke. You have a dry wit and appreciate a sense of irony. Enjoy your nonconformist attitude and understand the importance of those we deem contrary people in society. This isn't harmful energy, but playful and inciting thought amongst those who are unaware. Be on your toes and watch the thin line between a good sales pitch and a trap. And ask yourself about the ethical stance if you are in sales. Uh, your lighthearted approach is well appreciated, but some may not take you as seriously as you wish. Take a moment to embrace your rebellious self and understand that this path is not for everyone, but is just as important as every path we are asked to walk. If you are being confronted with mischievous, noisy spirit activity, which is what I was getting, or missing items, you are sure you have not misplaced. Cleanse your space and leave an offering to your house spirits or little people. I'm going to go with that. It's causing some mayhem in your life. So this totally makes sense to me. Things are being misplaced. Uh, people are maybe getting more agitated around you. So there's some uh, some mischievous mischievous spiritual activity, whether that's in people form or non-existent form. <laughs> Whatever. I feel dizzy even trying, but watch it now. <sighs> because, I mean, I just got some, like, blood pressure issues. Definitely spiritual activity in the home. You feel like you're being watched. <laughs> You may be by someone physical, which is the thing that I was telling you about. Like, maybe you offended them and don't even really know it because people can't take jokes all the time. You know, it depends on the mood set when you approach them. Hmm? Uh, King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Let's uh, see. I believe Six of Swords. Okay. Okay, the High Priestess and the Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups. This is coming to me. Someone is waiting. Ugh, five pinnacles underneath. Someone is waiting. Almost like a hand up. A hand up with some type of endeavor. Creatively. Um, financially. And. Uh, you may have accidentally offended. Someone that you're waiting on. Mm? And you don't even really know it. Or they said something snide to you. I would not react, I guess, right now. Uh, I definitely think this is a time of kind of misunderstanding. And everything will be right as rain. Once again, whatever, however this falls into your life, just kind of watch. 
know what I mean? Like they said, like bless bless your house, bless your space. For now. Still here. Five of Pentacles is losing some type of position or thinking that you're gonna lose this position over this person. The Ten of Swords. That is definitely okay, but with the with the higher thought under here, it's almost like spiritual interference. Okay. So good and bad. You have spiritual interference, no doubt. I keep getting that. Lots of it. Triggering aspects, misplacing your things, miscommunication, glitches. I mean, galore. But this is, you may have not been listening. You may not have been listening to the spiritual activity of trying to get your attention of warning you and so they are interfering to clear or help you clear these energies we're going to call them out of your life that are i want to say kind of got to a high speed maybe you're having blood pressure issues you know to get back to center to get back to your creative self to get back on the path so weird how I get these messages. Yeah. Six of cups. To bring the person you're supposed to be in with. To bring something back that maybe you thought died. The dream. The goal. But in a different format with different people. Like so whatever is going on over here. Again don't be triggered. Clear out your space. Don't be upset about it not coming through like maybe this person or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is all about your home your business, your endeavors, okay, your children, the empress here, yeah, seeing very clear, um, when I get the ace of swords, I'm not like on red tape authority, that is spelling, you're casting with your words, you're casting with your actions, and that's all you have to do, yep, especially Taurus season, Taurus Libra. This is very spiritual, sorry. It's a very spiritual meaning behind your reading. And I do feel like there is mischief and creativity abound. I think it's more of how you use it. How maybe you speak to people. Maybe you need to change that up. A lot of things going on, to be fair. That's why it's probably best that you just get a personal. <laughs> Because I got kids on this. I got business on this. I mean, you see, and all that just fell out. I mean, there's it's too much to kind of try to pinpoint on this general. Um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The law is there. For sure. There's a balance between activity and rest. Ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you're faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is surrender and non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life, go with the flow, and in no time you'll reach what you have your heart and hope set on. Just remember, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents when it's time for a greater effort. You'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow of cycles of your life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents, for we're right there with you with our little umbrella drinks smiling at your success. Success is the end result. Creative project, money, home, it's the success at the end, okay? Make sure you hit that subscribe. I'll catch you later.